Hello, 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 hello. I'm Lynn Browder and I paint <laughs> with my son Owen, who is 12 and has autism. I paint the backgrounds with him using a hand over hand method and then I paint the rest. I was laughing because before I even got started, I dropped some paint. And if you've watched before, you know that is a constant occurrence with me because I tend to paint fast and not truly pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> So that's why I was laughing. Maybe also because I'm a little delirious and tired and I should be in bed, but I've been trying to, <laughs> nothing lasts anymore. Nothing, I, I got this clothes rack because I'm trying to get nice and organized and I put it together as best I could. And last night it came crashing down. It had my clothes all on it that I was trying to sort through and organize and instead of it holding up it broke and one of the pieces is a small silver piece that I need to even attempt to put it back together somehow has flown the coop <laughs> and I can't seem to find it anywhere so I've been tearing my room apart, thinking that it's flown underneath something, and it's small, so, you know, it's, it's not gonna just come out when I need it to come out. So I am um, <laughs> just like, okay, can anything stay together for any amount of of time and the answer is no I don't think it can <laughs> I truly don't think it can so that's my story and I'm sticking to it um, but I would really really like it to stay together longer than a week <laughs> so I could get myself organized Anyways, that's my saga. And so I was looking again for the piece, hence not going to bed when I should be asleep because it's been a long couple of days. I had my fifth chemo treatment and I'm feeling pretty good. The, the food is starting to not taste great, but I usually have about a week, week and a half of that funness. And then it goes back to kind of um, tasting better and stuff. So I'm hoping for a quick turnaround with this one. My doctor said that I had been um, doing really well with my previous ones. So they are giving me the full dosages for these last two. And the last two and now is last one um, because I had my fifth chemo infusion yesterday and it was like I said at the full strength so um besides being tired which I pretty much spend my life being tired anymore with Owen's schedule and he pretty much sleeps through the night but sometimes like this morning he was up quite early um but I was as well. Um, I'd been up a couple times, but then I s fell back asleep after he got his tablet. We were up at that point, um, ready to start our day. But I am thrilled that he is sleeping better than he's ever slept. So that is pure happiness just a few times here and there and he's gotten better about 
going back to his room without me having to tell him to just go to his room. So that's also a good thing. I'm trying to kind of get some of the um, white to like cover. There's it's probably hard on the camera to see it. Um, maybe it's not, I'm not sure, but I want it to, oops, see, I need to switch to the little brush because then I just keep getting a wider and wider ghost if you haven't figured that out yet. We're making a ghost. Making a ghost. And we're gonna doll it up a little bit here. I love doing Halloween things. Um, I hardly ever do any turkey, you know, Thanksgiving type things. Um, I kind of do flowers a lot and kind of use it in the Halloween slash turkey lurkey colors. So I do that. But I very rarely make any turkey type things. So maybe I should make some more festive Thanksgiving items. We shall see, as they say. We shall see. Okay, I think I'm about done with this. Yeah, I'm for it one more time here. Get some of the thick lines out. When I group the, when I go back through this, then it gets all clumped. And so I'm just trying to smooth it out. Um, and like I said, I spend more time going back and forth over things than And out I go again. Out I go again. There we go. Okay. My perfectly imperfect little ghost. So now I'm going to leave the ghost to dry a little bit before I put some googly eyes on him. And I'm going to probably put too much paint on my paintbrush again. Because that's what I do. That's what I do. Ooh. Make the ghost sounds. So I'm giving my pumpkin. See? I don't really want to drop. I don't want to do sprinkles. Um, I always call them sprinkles. I do the little... <laughs> dot dot dots everywhere and I take my paintbrush and um, hit it and that creates those little sprinkles but I really don't want to do that on this one I want to make it more um, plain well not technically plain but not not the sprinkles not the spring Goals. So I'm going to give this a chance to dry a little bit before I make its face. So I'm just going to kind of add some little lines in here just to like highlight the pumpkin there we go now I'm gonna do a green stem Okay. 
Sometimes I go a little overboard with this, so I'm not going to try to go too overboard. I'm just going to make some little leafy doodles. That is the technical term. Okay, see, I did not want it to go all the way down, but there was a very thick chunk in there. And that was not quite making me happy. I always do these leaves that do not truly go with what I'm making, um, but I like the leaves that have these little things on it for whatever reason. So, so Owen had a pretty good day, but he kept repeating that he wanted to see his old teacher and I said um do you want to go see her and then as soon as I'd say do you want to go see her he would then say no and I'm trying to get him to realize that he's not back at that school and every time he has a break because they had Monday and Tuesday off for a teacher um teacher conferences and then I think they call it development day I'm not sure but um he kept asking for his old teacher and then he would say um you know the answer and the thing is I'm trying to get him to realize that I don't really know what the answer is because I don't know what the question is he doesn't say what the question is he just says you know the answer and I've said that to him because I was trying to explain that his brain is brilliant and he doesn't have to continuously ask me for the same thing over and over again so I want him to have the confidence that he knows the answer because like I said he does that a lot he will say the exact same thing literally hundreds of times and I don't know what the answer is because I don't know which particular thing he's addressing it to so I'm trying to get him to be a little more aware of what he's saying and why he's saying it so hopefully that will get him somewhere so after I talked to him about it again tonight, he only said it one more time, you know the answer, and asked for his teacher just one more time. So I was happy that he could do that. Probably should have a little more drawing time. I am famous, or is it infamous? <laughs> For not letting something dry long enough before I do the next part. And that does change your life if you would let it dry. I should take like a, you know, small si siesta. So tomorrow Owen will go to his grandma's and he has to go to yoga, but we don't go every week because um, right now with me being in my chemotherapy, it's kind of hard for me to know when I'm going to be feeling great. I should have some little tefers here. I'm going to make them a little different. Probably not what I want to do, but we're just going to do it. So, I want to have a little more room between the teethers. So, there's that. 
And then I'm just going to put some, a little bit of gray in here for the eyes. It doesn't really matter because it will kind of gush in there. Just making it, making it so it has a little texture. So, that's that. I'm going to run a little more of the white over this because it's thinned out a little bit. Generally, when this happens, I can't stay in the lines, so I truly don't need to be doing it, <laughs> but it, I wanted to say it whited itself out, but in a way, I guess it did. that brush I'm not even up see I gotta stop using the big one <sighs> pulling too many brushes see we gotta straighten this back up this is the problem you see peoples when I try to fix something I shake rattle and roll Somebody's car is going off. Wonder how many people actually go running to see what's making their car go off. Or if they know it automatically. Oops, I do not need the gray. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, excuse me. That is the one thing that this I get a lot of um, noises because of the chemotherapy, but it's not too bad. Okay. I think, I think, I think, I am done now. So, uh, <laughs> uh I'm telling you, when I go to fix something, it always meets its match because I am not slow and I shake. There we go. Now, see, this has like a dotted edge right here. This is what I was trying to fix is sometimes the pressure I put on the brush makes it not fill in like it makes it look broken. And that's what I'm always trying to fix with lines. Grrr. <laughs> okay. It's perfectly imperfect. That's what it does. Okay, 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 okay. So I sign O for Owen. And then L. And... B. There we go. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Toodles, toodles!